We've got a strength workout now using our resistance band. So sitting tall in the chair, feet to hip width apart, we're going to start with a slightly wider grip on the resistance band, okay? So taking our hands pretty close to the end, we're going to go with an overhand grip and keep hold of the band now, nice strong grip. Tall in the chair, arms out in front of you, and we're going to try to keep the arms as straight as we can do. So keeping the hands out in front of you, arms as straight as can be, what I want you to do nice and slowly, we pull the band apart and get a little squeeze through the top of the back. So we take it out nice and slowly and control the movement back to the start position. Good. So sit tall in the chair, tummy muscles in nice and strong. Keeping the arms straight, we pull the band apart and gently back into the start position. Good. Now we're starting to focus on the top of the back. So as you pull the band apart, keeping those arms straight, think about your shoulder blades, and we're going to retract the shoulder blades again. Give them a little squeeze together. Good. Keep breathing in and out. Now the resistance band is going to work those muscles hard, so keep breathing. The oxygen is going to the muscles. It's the energy. Tall in the chair. Good. few more like this. Arms straight, taking the band out. Take those hands out as far as you can. But if you do start to feel any pain or discomfort, please stop straight away. Now, if you want to make this a little harder, you want to increase the resistance, you're going to move your hands closer together on the band. To reduce the resistance, you take your hands further apart. Okay, let's just do a couple more. Still tall in the chair. And then final one, stretching it out, arms straight, back to the start position. Good, relax. We're going to focus on our shoulders. We're going to stick with our wide grip. And what I want us to do is just place one hand on top of the same side, that knee. Now with the opposite hand, we're going to touch that same knee and slowly we're going to take it up and out to the opposite side. So we're focusing now on just that one shoulder. The hand comes down to the opposite knee and then we take it up and out to the opposite side. All the time now, that one hand is keeping hold of the band and is stuck to our knee while we focus on the opposite shoulder. So the hand comes down and then we stretch the band up and out to the side, good. So just a few more on this side, only taking it as far as you feel comfortable, tall in the chair all the time. And because we're not sitting back in the chair, we're really working through our tummy muscles. Okay, and again, let's go once more with this side, take the hand up and out, return to the start position, good. Now that hand that we've just been moving out to the side, we're going to place that one on top of our knee. So we're freeing up now the other side. And again, we're going to go with the movement. We start from the bottom. We take this hand now up and out in the opposite direction before returning to that opposite knee. Arm up and out to the side and slowly back down. Good. Arm up and out and slowly back down. Now we're really starting to fire up these shoulder muscles. And we're tall in the chair and we're breathing in and out. Excellent. That one hand is stuck to our knee, don't forget, it's not moving. We are just moving this one arm up and up to the side, giving the band a little bit of a squeeze as we go. We're gonna do two more, tall in the chair, control the movement up and on the way back down. Last one, good. Up it goes and back to the start, excellent. Now we've warmed our shoulders up, so we're gonna make it a little bit harder. What I would like you to do is take the band and just place it over the top of your legs. We're gonna go with an overhand grip again, but this time we're gonna hold onto the band about hip width apart, so our hands have come closer together. So take an overhand grip, nice strong grip, hip width apart, and just bring the arms up out in front of you. Bring them up only as high as you feel comfortable, but we're not going any higher than shoulder heights. Now, because our hands are closer together, we've increased the resistance. It's going to be a little bit harder. Arms out straight, sitting tall, pull the hands apart. Little stretch through the band, slowly returning to the start position. Good. So our arms are staying up out in front of us. We're controlling the movement on the way out. Little pull apart and then controlling it back to the start. Good. Breathe in and out. Now, if you want to increase the resistance, if you want to make it a little bit harder, you move your hands closer together. To reduce the resistance, we open the hands up just a little bit. Okay, tall in the chair. We pull the band apart and gently back in. Good. Shoulders working now. Breathing as we move. Really starting to feel my shoulders 
working hard. Let's just do a few more. Good. Tall in the chair, arms out in front of us. Keeping the arms as straight as you can do. Little pull apart. Gently back to the start. Two more. Good. Okay, here we go. Final one. Stay in control. Breathe as we move. Controlling back to the start. Excellent. We'll give our shoulders a little bit of a rest. We're going to take the band. So take one end of the band and very carefully we're going to feed it behind us. And we're going to take hold of that end now with the other hand. We're going to bring the band up closer to the top of our back so it's underneath our armpits and we're holding on to both ends of the bands now with our hands. We're just going to check our feet making sure we're at hip width apart. We're going to sit nice and tall. Now keeping hold of the band we're going to bring the elbows into the side of our body. Nice and slowly now we're going to push our hands out to way, stretching the band as we go, taking it as far as you feel comfortable before returning to the start position, elbows back in, good. So take a second here to recover and we're gonna go again. Push the band out away from us and gently back into the start position, good. Now because this is a pushing exercise, we're now working our tricep muscles. We're working those tricep muscles located at the top back part of the arm. They are used when we push ourselves out of the chair or if we have to push a door open maybe, it's our triceps that are working. So really important we keep them strong. Keep pressing the band out away, take your hands out as far as you feel comfortable, returning to the start position. Now if you want to increase the resistance, you're just going to move your hands down the band closer to your body. Start with the elbows in again, press out and elbows in, good. Keep going, tolling the chair, breathing in and out. Let's just do a few more. Pressing out, working the triceps, returning to the start position with the elbows in. Good. Okay, let's do two more. Nice control on the way out. Nice control on the way back in. Here we go, final one, ready, sit tall. Breathe as we press out. Control that movement back to the start position. Excellent. Very carefully, let go of one of the ends and we're just gonna pull the band back out in front of us, okay? Now what I want us to do with the band is we're going to feed one end underneath our legs. So the band is now located under our legs and again we're holding on to both ends with our hands. We're going to go to a pulling exercise now. So feet hip width apart, the band is under our legs, we're holding on to the end, we're going to bring our elbows and just bring them into the side of our body. We've got grip on the band with our thumbs facing the ceiling. Nice and slowly now, we're going to bend at the elbow, bringing the hand up toward the shoulder and slowly back to the start position. Good. So hold on to the band, nice strong grip, elbows into the side of your body, sit tall, bending at the elbow, bringing the hand up toward the shoulder and slowly back down. Good. Let's continue with this bicep curl. So this is a pulling exercise now, we're working our bicep. If you've got to hold on to a full kettle, it's quite heavy. We've got to fill it up at the tap, and then we're going to take it back to the stand. While we are holding that heavy cattle, it's our bicep muscle that's working. Okay, elbows in, sitting tall, good. To increase the resistance, to make it a little bit harder, you move your hands down the band, closer to the legs. Elbows in, keep curling. Bending at the elbow, bring the hands up towards the shoulder. Please be aware that as you increase the resistance, you may start to feel a bit of the band pinching under your legs, okay? And we don't want that, so just lower the resistance by bringing the hands closer to the end of the band again. A few more bicep curls, you've got it, good. Sitting tall, breathing in and out. In, slowly back down. Let's go two more for the bicep curls. Good, final one, elbows in. Sit tall, breathing as we move up. Slowly returning to the start position. Excellent. Okay, we're going to move now to the legs. What I want us to do, keeping the band under the legs, we're just going to move our feet and knees slightly closer together. We're going to take the end of the band now and we're just going to twist it around itself so that we kind of tie our legs up. Now we don't want too much tension on the band so that we cut off the circulation to our feet. But once you've tied the band up, you're going to hold on to it with both hands, okay? We don't want the band to fly across the room. So, sitting tall in the chair, we're going to alternate from left to right, and we're just going to move with the foot, taking it out to the side, 
tapping the ball of the foot on the floor, returning to the start position. Then we're going to do the same on the other side. So keep hold of the band, alternating from left to right, just a little step, tapping the ball of the foot onto the floor, returning to the start position. And we're going to continue to alternate now from left to right. What we're trying to do is just work through the hips a little bit, but it's really important that if you start to experience any pain or discomfort, you stop straight away. We're also starting to get a little bit of a work through the abductor muscles located on the outside of the thigh. Okay, sitting tall in the chair, alternating from left to right, breathing as we go. Good. Last few. You've got it. Okay, little step to the side, not overreaching. And we're not worrying about straightening our leg. Just a little tap to the side and back. Let's do one more on each side. Nice control, little step. Final one. Perfect. Bringing the feet back to hip width apart, we're going to carefully undo the band and we're going to bring it back over the top of the legs for our final exercise. So carefully, we bring the band under our legs and we're going to place it back over the top of the legs. So, our final exercise, we're going to try to work the top of the back. We're going to take an underhand grip this time, okay? So our palms are underneath the band facing the ceiling. And we want a gap of about five to six inches between the hands. Take a nice strong grip, and we're just going to bring our hands so they're about an inch over our knees. We're going to sit nice and tall, and what I want us to do is just bring the band in towards the belly, let the elbows come behind us, and bring the hands towards the hips. Hold it for about a second, and we're going to return to the start position with the hands out above the knees, and we're going to let the band relax for a second, okay? So what we're going to feel now is we bring our hands in towards our hips. We're going to need to stretch the band just a little bit. Only bring your hands in as far as you feel comfortable. Here we go. Sit nice and tall. Hands out in front of you, keeping them just above the knee. We're going to pull the band in towards the belly. Hands come towards the hips and the elbows go behind us. And then return into the start position where we relax the band. Excellent. Sit nice and tall. Let's continue with this movement. Pull the hands into the hips. Slowly back to the start where we rest for a second. And again, in your own time now. Don't rush. Returning to the start where we can recover for a second before bringing the hands in towards the hips again. Squeezing those big muscles in the back. Good. Here we go again. Keep breathing. Few more to go. Excellent. Back to the start position where we recover. So a little squeeze on the band, bringing the hands in towards the hips. Elbows are behind us. Back to the start position where we recover. Two more to go. Tall. Breathing as we move. Don't forget now, back to the start position, recover, last one. Sit nice and tall, hands in towards the hips, strengthening through the back, returning to the start position, relax the band. And that is our strength resistance band workout.